Well, it's finally time. The start of the trip here, we scheduled a pickup with Uber at 6 a.m. this morning. It's now 6.22 and we still don't have a ride from Uber. So we canceled the ride with Uber and went with Lyft and Lyft said they'd be here in three minutes. So step one of the trip, we're doing great. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we made it to Colorado. Uh, Uber debacle aside, also thanks for Lyft to uh, coming to save the day. Our guy Ahmed uh, took really good care of us. It was pretty awesome. Anyway, we showed up here. We didn't really have anything lined up to look at, but now we're, we managed to set up one for today and one for tomorrow. So already exciting stuff going on. We're just chilling in the uh, airport, trying to get our crap together and figure out what we're gonna do for the day and also having a very needed cup of coffee. Cheers, love. I'm sharing my foam on my mustache. Lauren is over here. She's not imaginary. <laughs> you want to say hi, Lauren? I assume that was in frame. But anyway, we're, uh, we rented a camper van for this trip, so we're going to go pick up the camper van, and then we got to drive down to Colorado Springs to go look at places. So the adventure is on. All right, well, we made it to Colorado Springs. We're going to look at a house here in like, what, like half an hour? Picked up our camper van, and we decided we're gonna crash out for a little while, take a little nap and relax. We're like five, 10 minutes away from where we're supposed to be, so good night. We'll see y'all later. Oh, good morning. It was an eventful day yesterday. We had a lot going on. I didn't really shoot much footage because, well, we just had a lot going on and I was exhausted. I finally found a place to park the camper van for the night and it's like 6.30 now. We're getting ready to get the day rolling. We got more places to look at, but holy crap, look at this sunrise. I've never had a better view from the parking lot. All right, we're gonna get our crap together, go look at another house. We'll have more to update later. So we just finished looking at our second house and we don't have anything else lined up right now. What we are learning, number one, being self-employed sucks for renting a house. Number two, the housing market in Colorado Springs is freaking bonkers. There are way more people than there are houses, so things are off the market almost as fast as they're listed. So um, I don't know, we're at a bit of a quandary. We like both the places that we've seen so far. So the first one was really cute. It's a little bit tinier than the one we just saw. And it's uh, in a location that's pretty close to Old Town, Colorado City. So here is a view of the house. 
and the view from the front porch. Not a whole lot to be upset about there. Now, the second one is more in, it's just outside um, Colorado Springs. It's a bigger house with more yard, and it's the same price, but it's more of a city feel. I'm not real big on cities, so that would be an adjustment for me, but it's also a really, really cool spot. So, it also has a pretty nice view from the master bedroom here. And it's a pretty cute spot too. Now we have the problem of trying to pick between the two, assuming that we qualify for both of them. It's, like I said, it's absolutely nuts out here. We're, um, we're finding that we're probably going to have to figure this out in like the next couple days if we get an acceptance for them. And then we have to figure out the whole move-in thing. So this is happening a whole lot faster than we expected it to. Not a bad thing, just a big adjustment, and it's going to require a lot of um, plan changes for us in the way we do things. But all in all, it's been pretty awesome. So we spent last night in the camper van. I just set a record for my coldest night camping, if you want to count it camping, at 20 degrees when we woke up this morning. It's big special thanks to Bass Pro Shops for having that parking lot that they allowed us to crash in last night. There were... I had a plan where were we going to go and that didn't work at all so we had to come up with something on the fly. So thanks for the game, uh, the, the save there Bass Pro Shops, I owe you one. I'll give you guys a tour of our little home away from home probably later today. It's a cute little rental from Native Camper Vans. Um, they were really cool to deal with, the camper van checks all the boxes and it's a whole lot better than renting a car and a place to stay, just make your car your place to stay. So later today, I'll give you a tour around there and uh, fill you in on how that whole thing worked. In the meantime, I'm going to go get back to Lauren. She's taking care of something in the car. Catch up with you guys later. All right, so we're taking a little break from house hunting because, well, it's real stressful. And it's demoralizing. We're out of prospects. <laughs> and now we're just playing the hurry up and wait game. So we decided to come out here to the Garden of the Gods, because why not? You're in Colorado Springs, might as well. And now we're just going to wander around and check the spot out while we're waiting for people to get back to us. Garden of the Gods was a nice break. Gave us a good chance to think. It was also a pretty cool experience. Uh, we, on our little hiatus, decided that we were going to turn down a property that we looked at because it's not right for us. So, fingers crossed, if this whole thing pans out. It will. It will. So, on to the next thing. As you can see, we made it home. We're back in Virginia. It was a long, exciting, interesting weekend. We were there for about four days. Saw two properties, got accepted for one, and turned it down because it wasn't what we were looking for. So the long and short of it was, it was an adventurous weekend, but we didn't find a house. So the saga continues. We have plans moving forward, uh, what we're gonna do, 
But it's going to be an interesting adventure. So that's it for this episode of the Colorado Chronicles. There will be more to come in the near future. If you enjoy this format, me sharing some of the stuff going on in my life, let me know in the comments down below. If you like the video, smash that thumbs up button. Share the video with your friends. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's been fun shooting this. This has been way outside of what I usually do. If I, I don't know, I don't even know what this is going to look like yet because I haven't even looked at the footage. So you can see I haven't even really unpacked yet. There's crap everywhere. So I hope you enjoyed this. I've had a fun time making it. Hopefully I can do more stuff like this to, to share what's going on in my life with you guys in the future. Until next time, keep your life in motion. I'm going to go back to looking for houses.